a city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. The build-up has been intense and now we just can't wait for it all to begin. It's anyone's guess though, which team will come out on top? Find out how it unfolds right here on EA TV. Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace up against Aston Villa. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. A chance to whip it in. And quick thinking defensively. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. Oh, in with a chance! There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Leon Bailey. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Now the cutback. Opportunity here. Oh, there it is. A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Ezzy. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Look at Dinia. Could cross it in here. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Klein. Ezzy. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Leon Bailey. Decided to come in from the flank. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Oh, I think he'll be kicking himself. Ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Tyrick Mitchell. Will Hughes. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Rogers. Torres on the ball. John McGinn. 
Bailey. Could be dangerous. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. Going short. That's excellent defending following the cross. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Diaby. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. John McGinn. Torres on the ball. Consa. Rogers. Just the challenge that was required. Will Hughes. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Attacking possibilities for Palace. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And it's still on for him. Top class defending. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. That's a good looking ball. Diaby. Can they convert? The threat was there, but no problems now. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Will Hughes. That's a good looking ball. And waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. McGinn. Trying to open them up. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. The referee's whistle. And that means the first half is over here in South London. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Clears it away. Ezzy. And Hughes has it. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Really getting stuck in. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. <laughs> Musa Diaby. Esri Konsa. And now with McGinn. Douglas Luiz promising attack this and let's give credit to the defending
Munoz. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Oh, great block. With Alex O'Neill, please Cash. Be at the ticket office. Thank you. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Good work from Palace to win back possession. Might be able to set up the chance. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Took a really... Must take the lead here. Oh, he's blocked it. Could be troublesome. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Diaby. Torres on the ball. 20 minutes remaining. Not the pass he had in mind. Well, not long left now, but this crowd have been brilliant. Can the players get a winner here? Difficult to stop him. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. McGinn. And space to cross it. Will Hughes. Munoz. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And forward they go again. Can they win this? Good play it in. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Good idea. Will he finish? That is how to keep it out of the net. Smuggled away. Well, they've decided to make a change. Watkins, here's Bailey, Tielemans, Diaby, and take it away, just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Well, they still have designs on the win. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Crystal Palace goal. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart?
Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.